What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm gonna show you guys how to take this white disc and make it an all right disc. So was that the worst uh, pun, rhyme, joke thing you ever saw? So these are the things you're gonna need. I'll just go across the desk from right to left, your left to right. You're gonna want a Rubbermaid container that is big enough to lay a disc in and close the lid without the lid touching the disc and preferably without the whole disc resting in the bottom. Lotion, uh, I found a gallon on Amazon for very cheap. It works okay, it's not bad. Uh, there is a better one at Walmart, I'll put that on the screen. Also with the Amazon one. Uh, you're gonna want some clear solo cups to mix your dye in. I like clear because I can see what's going on and how well it's stirred up. Um, you can use these. I have all of mine already mixed. I have a bunch of colors down here in a drawer um, mixed up already. I'm going to be mixing quite a bit of dye. I like to use a scale. I also like to have ProChem dyes for some of the colors because some of their colors are a lot better than eye dyes. Uh, for instance, their yellow is a lot brighter and it cures a lot darker than eye dyes yellow. Um, their bright blue is very bright. It's, um, it's a really good blue. Uh, the meadow is a great green and the Buttercup is the best orange you can get from powder, in my opinion. I have eye dye poly because, well, I have red on top because eye dye's red is just boom. It's the darkest, brightest, it's the best, in my opinion, that I've used. There's probably a bunch of dyes I haven't used, but from what I've used, that red is, is about as dark and bright as you're gonna get it. Are those two words even work together like that? Um, here I have some quick coat worm dip. These are for dyeing fishing uh, rubber worms, or plastic worms, or whatever you wanna call it. Uh, we're gonna want that same tray that we use for the shaving cream dye. It does not have to have raised edges this time. Um, you can use something, you know, just bigger than the disc and like a cutting board, like the plastic type of cutting board or some other flat surface you don't mind ruining. If you can't tell, this is, it's got a lot of dye stains on it. Um, I think I mentioned the scale. You're gonna want something to stir this with. Um, I like to have a little small CVS syringe. Uh, that helps me get the exact amount of liquid dye I need into the lotion. Um, you're gonna need a disc, and we're gonna take this white disc and make it an all right disc, remember? Uh, you're gonna want some paper towels, always for cleanup, and two of these little small paper towels for the end of the process. Teaspoon for the powder, and I think that's it. We're gonna mix some dye to start out with, because you gotta have dye, you gotta have disc. We have disc, we don't have dye. Well, we have dye. We don't have dye mixed into lotion yet. You don't, I have a you know, whole drawer. Anyways, <laughs> all right, to start out with, I'm going to decide on what colors I want. All right, so for you guys, we're gonna mix this up. I'm gonna put away all these. and I'm going to put away all of these. So I like to know how much lotion I have to start with, so I'm gonna tear this cup. I know it's probably not that much, 15 grams. So we have 310 grams of lotion. So I went a little further than I usually do. I usually do about 300, 290, 300 grams of lotion. I'm going to get the pink. We're gonna start with the powder. I'm gonna do half a teaspoon, but it's usually. Five grams. All right, so also different dyes, the volume yields a different uh, weight. So remember, don't touch this disc once you start touching dyes till you go wash your hands, unless you have to carry it and then go under it because this doesn't look like there's anything on my fingers, but I guarantee you there is some pink dye on my fingers now. So I'm just gonna move that around a little bit, spread it out, and then I'm going to do half a teaspoon of this as well. Just pour it out over the top of it. Get that done, put this away. New desk, still haven't learned where I've got everything yet. And I'm just gonna stir this up. Uh, oh, uh, a weight on this is 325 grams with everything in it. 
and I'm gonna stir this and it's gonna be a minute. It's gonna actually end up looking more gray or purple. Pink always does for some reason. Um, but. Stir it and stir it and stir it. And I like clear because I can scrape to the edges and kind of see the color of the dye start to change inside there. We're gonna stir for a little bit. We'll come back when I'm done, probably about 10 minutes. I'm just kidding, it won't be that long. So this is mixed. So we're gonna take this, we're gonna do pink, we're gonna do Purple and blue, that's blue. Where's purple? There's purple. Um, another thing to mention is some of the, I didn't, I didn't mention this and I'm sorry. Uh, there's another brand called Spike It, but you want unscented dip and glow. Their purple keeps you from having to mix a purple yourself with red and blue and all of that. Their purple is awesome, right out of the bottle. Get unscented. If you get garlic scented, your disc is gonna stink forever. It comes in smaller bottles, unfortunately. I don't know if they make a bigger bottle, but I live in Memphis, so I have the giant Bass Pro Shop pyramid that I can just go to to get this. We're gonna do purple, blue, pink, and why not? Let's throw a little bit of red in there, all right? So we have our spoon and our pink already, so let's just do pink. So. You just want to make spots, like... Make a little pink there. Put a little pink here. Put a little pink there and there. And there. I don't try to use a lot of pink because pink is a light color and it doesn't I can't really explain it until the process is over. Um, it doesn't dye in defined lines as well as the darker colors do. So I'm gonna shake the red down to the bottom. We'll put some red along the pink. And along this part of the pink, along the outside of this pink. We'll do like a streak on the edge. We'll do a little spot of pink right here, or red. Purple. We'll do some purple. Let's do a big spot of purple there, some purple here. And finally, a little blue. And we're just we're just putting it on there, man. Just kind of kind of going crazy with it. A little red or a little blue around it. Just kind of drizzle this in to fill some gaps and that's pretty much it. Just kind of get creative and mix it around, put it where you want it. I have no idea what I'm gonna do with all of that because I don't think I have another squeeze bottle. This is just empty white. Um, I might even throw some little, throw some white in there just to make some vacant areas in the dye. I'm gonna use the back of a paintbrush. You can use your toothpick or whatever. And I'm just gonna kind of I'm just going to make some of the touching colors like blend a little bit. Like just blend them back and forth because that's gonna make it look better in the end. So you don't get these like harsh lines. Just have at it, man. It's gonna look weird. And that's pretty uh, pretty good. That's smeared up pretty well. All right, so the next part I'm gonna bring you guys in because it's crucial that you do it right if you want the pattern. All right, so we're gonna take our disc. We're gonna center it into the die. 
and we're just gonna drop it. We just screwed up so bad, and no, I'm just kidding. All right, so you're going to push the die, or the disc down into the die, kind of mash it around. You can move it a little bit, just try not to wiggle it around too much. Just, you start seeing the die come out of the edges. Now, I like to use one of my gloves. I actually tore my gloves since the last video and I still need some, but you need to hold down on the disc, right? And peel up and boom. Does that look familiar? Is that starting to look like something you've seen before? If so, you're not new to the dying world. All right, so I'm gonna wipe off what's on the edges right here because this is a gyro disc. It's got a black rim. There's no point in die being on the edge. And it's gonna help me handle this disc later if there isn't die on the edges. So I'm just going, you don't wanna rub it to where you're pushing die up onto the disc. But you can definitely wipe it away right near the rim. Boom, and that's it. That's easily handleable. We got some good dark spots. I really like when there's vacant areas like that with really light feathery lines. So we're gonna, we're gonna deal with this, all right? So I'm gonna move you guys back so you can see the rest of the process. I went and got some water, didn't mention that. Don't need a whole pitcher of water, but. All right, what you do with this when you get ready to store this. So this is reusable. You could probably put one more disc down in this because I used so much. Um, but I'd rather use a bunch than to use not enough, if that makes sense. Because if you don't use enough, then the whole disc looks like these feathery spots and you just don't get a bunch of crispy lines and details. And So I'll probably set something else in this later. Uh, I have got a while. This won't dry out very quickly. Um, so, we were talking about this sealing up and the disc not going to the bottom. The paper towel needs to be wet. So we're gonna dip it in, just get a little water on it. I'm gonna wring it out. All right, so you want the paper towel damp, not soaking wet. And what this does is this keeps moisture. This keeps moisture in the container with it. Just set it in the bottom, right? So right now, when I was talking about different like variations of the dye, there's very thin spots in between these raised areas. That's gonna dry out first. You don't want that to dry out too early because the tall portions, the peaks, of these veins or tree roots or upside down, it kind of looks like lightning to me. Um, you don't want that to dry out too soon before the dye takes into the disc. So this keeps everything damp. The air in there is damp. It has time to set in, right? So I'm gonna set this in here like that. Now this only helps the speed of the process. This is not necessary but this is something I own, so I use it to speed up the process. Um, I could probably get away with like 12 to 14 hours of, of wait time with this, using this, but 24 hours is recommended. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna heat the die up. I'm gonna hit it with this heat gun, I'm gonna let it warm up, and then we'll skip to the next step. If you have a heat gun at home, uh, if you want to check it, I just want to check to make sure that the back of the disc is warm. It is. You don't want to hold it in one spot too long. You will mess your disc up. And then I do this. And she sits for 24 hours. <clears throat> I will make a note of the time. Uh, I'll put a sticky note on it that'll say today's date, uh, 1.33 p.m. And what I'll do is about eight hours in, uh, probably tonight when I go to bed, 
about nine o'clock tonight, yeah. I'll probably open this up and I'll heat it up really good with the heat gun. And what that's gonna do is that's gonna get all those little thin areas in the middle of all those peaks dried. That's gonna give you some color in between the veins. That thin spot's gonna start to dry out. You can take the lid off of it, hit it up with that, and then I'm gonna let it sit overnight for another eight hours while I'm sleeping with the lid off. Um, and when I wake up in the morning, I'll hit it with the heat gun. I'll put the lid back on it. When I come home from lunch, I'll take it off. I'll rinse it off. I'll be at my 24 hours. So we'll see you guys back in 24 hours. We'll take the lid off, we'll rinse it, and we'll see what we got. <clears throat> One thing I didn't mention is I don't know what the humidity is where you live. Um, I'm in the Memphis area, Delta. Um, decent humidity here, but you don't want droplets to start forming in here from that. If it's too wet and you start getting droplets and one falls on your dye, it could mess up your pattern. Just something to take note of. Uh, I had just washed this before I made the video and it was still a little wet and I noticed there was droplets on the top already. So I went ahead and wiped that out. So just something to keep in mind. So now it's sealed up. The disc has been warmed up. We'll be back in 24 hours. All right, guys. So here it is. The Fission Tesla is done and I'm so happy about it, guys. I cut some corners, I tried something different and I'm so happy with how it turned out. I did this in eight hours. It is 9.30, same day. Uh, instead of going back and forth for 24 hours, heating, covering, exposing, all that, I actually heated up the dye right on the top and the heat opens the pores of the plastic. It doesn't just dry the spots you want dry on top, okay? So I had this in the container, set the set two bricks on top of a radiator heater and then use the bricks to keep this from making contact with the heater. And I kept this above a, a radiator heater on like medium to low heat and that heat just radiated up through the disc and kept it warm. And in eight hours, I was able to get these dark colors. So blown away. That's definitely gonna be part of my process from now on. Um, but yeah. So let's do a giveaway. Uh, it's almost January. We did a giveaway at the beginning of December. We're gonna do a giveaway this year. Uh, not this year. We're gonna do a giveaway. I mean, I guess it is a new year. I guess I do have New Year on the on the mind. It's about to be 2021. Crazy. Who wants a $20 gift card to 1010 Discs? Because that's what we're giving away in January. January 11th. I'm gonna pick one person that subscribes to me on YouTube, follows me on Instagram, and comments on the post about the giveaway, and let me know what type of video you want me to do next. It's that easy. You just tell me what you wanna see. It can be what someone else picked. I'm gonna pick a random comment. I'm gonna put all that information into a randomizer and I'm gonna pick up a random person. That's, that's how it's gonna be. I'm going to ask you on Instagram for verification that you are subscribed to me on YouTube via screenshot or something. We'll do that, we'll settle that in the DMs. But that's it. And then you can have a $20 gift card to 1010 Discs. So. See ya.